action is a tough act to follow. Premier Klein admitted that he didn't have a plan for handling Alberta's current boom. He did, however, have a plan in 1993 for eliminating the provincial debt that would have looked after itself by now without any of his Dacronian measures. He dismantled Alberta's social safety net, eliminating Alberta's debt on the backs of the elderly, the sick, the disabled, and the poor. Any target was fair game except for big business. Now, after years of huge provincial surpluses, where is the plan to restore the social safety net? It doesn't exist. Seniors on fixed pensions, seniors on fixed pension incomes living in their own homes are being driven out of them by taxes based on inflated market values and by ridiculously high costs for deregulated utilities and for home upkeep. Seniors living on fixed pension incomes in apartments are being driven out of them by unaffordable rent increases and by landlords anxious to cash in at the top of the market by converting their apartments into condos. And where are these seniors being driven? Are they going into long-term care facilities where their medical needs will be attended to under the Canada Health Act? No, not unless they are desperately ill and need active treatment. The number of long-term care beds has remained virtually static for years, despite a rapidly growing elderly population. No, by and large, seniors are being driven into private for-profit supportive living facilities where they pay for their room and board and much of the medical assistance they need is a build extra. Far from investing in new long-term care facilities, the Alberta government has actually paid the operators of these facilities to downgrade them to assisted living, thereby downloading the costs of needed medical and personal care onto the seniors or their families. Yeah! Ralph Klein's third way isn't dead. It's alive and living in Alberta's continuing care facilities. I'm not saying all Alberta seniors are suffering. Those with money are doing very well. And there are some great facilities operated by municipalities and by community organizations such as the Greater Edmonton Foundation. But too many seniors are falling through the cracks. And too many people are falling through the cracks. Affordable housing is a necessity not only for seniors, but for everyone. A government that is too lazy or too ideologically constipated to plan and provide for the basic needs of its citizens doesn't deserve to govern. Thank you for coming out.